Dink. Donk. Oh, order. Um, Dink. Donk. Blam. <laughs> That's so silly. Hazaki! 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 <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Jason Station here. Welcome back to the channel. So the question that everyone always has for me, and I bet you guys are thinking the same question too. How is Yasuo Katarina, or I guess more broadly Yasuo doing in this season, this patch, this time period? Yada yada. Is it playable? Does it beat the meta decks? Can I play it? And here is my answer to you. The answer is yes, but it's definitely a lot worse than it was in the past let's we'll talk a little bit about the matchups overall and where it fits in the meta and then we'll just talk about the deck list because there have been some new cards that i've been trying out just given the fact that we have been getting some new cards since the latest expansion first things first um pirates a bad matchup no longer one of the best match kaiza which was the best matchup no longer really around and there's a lot of decks like plunder and a lot of other ionia decks running out those are probably the main things that i want to look out for and honestly into plunder it's okay it's not great but it's definitely beatable and into the other ionia decks um if we can level katarina we still have a very strong beat down plan but it's all centered around that. The deck itself hasn't really changed much in how it plays, but let's talk about some of the new cards that we have gone. So the newest card that Ionia has gone and has seen a lot of play in pretty much almost any popular Ionia deck today is Vistani Disciple. And I'm trying out two copies of it in the one drop slot. It doesn't really make as a very good blocker, um, but we're not really worried about aggro decks anyways. Uh, since I don't really think we have a good way of beating them without teching too, too hard. Uh, it's just a really, really good card. You can play it on turn one. You don't even have to tap with it. Maybe you have like a Fate Blade Tour that you can sack. But what's really good about it is it's a one drop that helps you progress Yasuo's level up. And that's very, very important in this deck because Yasuo is pretty much how you get to control your opponent's board if you're unable to level Katarina or beat down your opponents. So having a one drop that can uh, infinitely level up your Yasuo is very, very good. And not only does that happen, it also just draws you a card. Synergize with Fate Blade Troll, things like that. It's just a very, very good card overall. Highly impressed. Um, but generally speaking, it does fall off the later the game goes. You definitely want this in your early games, um, but not so much as the game progresses. Uh, and then two copies of Ionian Hookmaster is just a very, very solid card. You can hit like the overall weapon, the scout weapon, which are very, very good. Even something like uh, the combat reel that gives you spell mana back can be very important just because of how mana hungry this deck can be. Uh, because we're only running two of it, I'm not actually running Momentous Choice. I have two copies of Twin Discipline instead. I don't think Momentous Choice is consistent enough, um, especially when you do need a card like Twin to protect your Katarina, especially because Twin is also plus three and not just a plus two. Um, other than that, there aren't any new additions to this deck. I have cut out the sign-in in favor of the Vassign Disciple and just a slight nod to the additional aggro deck in the meta. Uh, Will of Ionia for Lee Sin um, and other Ionia based decks. I think this could probably be a two of, um, depending on how much of that kind of stuff you face into. But I think Will of Ionia is quite strong right now as well. So the deck list has been majority the same. The playstyle of it is still completely the same. And it's just sort of a recap on how it does into today's meta. And for the most part, I think it does relatively well. Definitely playable. Um, it's going to be hard to climb in Masters with, but something easily something you can play uh, before you get to Masters and do okay with. So check out the games. I think some really, really cool ones out here just to see how it has updated throughout the seasons and face into some of the near decks. But thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, guys. Have a good one. <laughs> that was a five head block. Actually, not putting cat there. I mean, I think there's only one cat and then they waste Mystic Shot on it. True. Wait, it's Jason Thorn. His hand's actually kind of cracked. Minus the Asa. Minus the thorn. Do I want thorn? Hmm. Thorn's okay. You're a Malphite Yasuo enjoyer? That's based in its own way. I can respect that. Hmm. I think his hand's okay. The only like option is or question is to mull one of these away. Like I just want Katarina. Like Katarina just like stomps. 
Maybe just like double mole for Katarina. That's also like somewhat of an okay choice. Yeah, let's do it. Katarina me, please. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what? Um. Well then. Is it bad to main deck the stun spell than the actual thorn? Uh, not necessarily, but uh, yeah, I think you'll find slightly higher value in like actually main decking it. Okay, okay so I play three of these and then I slap two hillocks and I hope I win the game. I don't know. I need a Katarina here. Oh, that's such a good card. The issue is we, these guys don't scale faster than Nami right now. So if he just goes like I have not Kaboros into Nami. Hmm. I needed Katarina with this hand. Like Katarina on turn three would have been like game winning. Cause when they go double trouble and I go Katarina, I guess they could have heavy metal. But if they can't stop Katarina there, I just like win the game. Unironically. Cause now when they like at this point they can have heavy metal, they can have like uh I guess they could have TF blue card. Mm, that's good. TF blue card is the best case for me, which means that they don't have Nami in hand. Give me Scouter Overwhelm. Ooh, those are kind of hot. I mean, Scout with Fade Blade Twirler. I mean, well, that's kind of hotter botters. I don't know what the hell I just said. The Katarina. The dream. Okay, so I get him to tap under Riptide Sermon, and then I just slam the Katarina. Scout with Hillock? Yeah, Scout with Hillock as well. Pass. I'm gonna take this pass because I have Hillock. I, mm, I'm gonna equip this. And I'll pass. I'm happy if he passes again. I just don't want... Okay. <gasps> okay? No heavy metal, no heavy metal, no heavy metal, no heavy metal. Please, no heavy metal. Oh my god. No heavy metal. No heavy metal, no heavy metal, no heavy metal. No heavy metal, please. No heavy metal? No heavy metal? No heavy metal? Let's go! Get in there. Ugh. Okay, is his TF leveling? Uh, maybe. But we're kind of pounding here. Nice. I mean, if we play Katarina again next turn, do we just like force him to wipe board? Like, we'll probably force a TF block out eventually. Question is, do I want to play Hillock? I really do want to play Hillock next turn. Alternatively, I can ping the TF. It's not easy from the level, right? Because he needs to draw four. He like plays. He needs like TF spell and then like I'll I'll ping it. This gives me the option to play Katarina to ping it again, or I can just play Hillock depending on what he does. Like if he plays Zap Spray or not Zap, but if he plays Shelly, I'm just gonna play Hillock, right? Then I can Katarina. And like this Hillock plus the Scout plus Katarina should just like wipe him next turn, ideally. He might be forced to like sermon one of my Fey Blade Twirlers here, but then I just like play Hillock and then put it back on, like his free low, like it's busted, busted. Because I think, yeah, so he, I kind of knew he didn't have Nami, and now he can't kill these. And now I just try to run him over. Right. 
annoying. There's not leveling TF next turn. Um, so... Sure. He can't really attack with these two, so he's not pushing that much damage anyways. Like, we're just going with the assumption that we can kill him next turn. Because we have Sentry Katarina. And he's completely, like, he has no... Jesus Christ. He doesn't have any mana banked. That's the first time I've had this interaction with a scout weapon plus Hillock. I've done it before with other scout units, but... Cool to see it within the best deck region colors. So now I just go sentry into Katarina, and I try to wipe. I just I just threaten to like wipe his entire board and force a block with Twisted Fate. That's like the hope. I'm gonna sentry on the second attack so that if he redevelops a blocker, I stun that and then he's forced to block with TF. He's probably still forced to block with TF anyways, but. We'll see. Because, like, he's forced to, like, do some Hoko play here would be my guess. Actually, that's not even true. He loses a Hoko. Wait, he's, he loses everything here, no? How does he win? Like, he plays another unit, I sentry it, and then I Katarina, and then... Oh, wait, no, then he has no blockers. Okay. Well, I guess that's fine as well. Yeah, that was a pretty okay game. I gotta say, that was, that was pretty fair. What I did was pretty fair. It's not like he has no blockers and he's staring down three 10 plus attack fade blade twirlers. He also has house layers again. Yeah. So now I blades edge this, I force him to play two spells and then I'll sentry. Or not. Hmm. You just screenshot this board and show it to Mogwai. Yeah. There's your screenshot, buddy. Alright. Hmm. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Katarina against Ionia is just such a such a like dumpster if you can actually level her. Poppy Taric. Ideally this is a good matchup for us. Because if we we're able to flock, kill their Poppy. They currently have a hard time protecting it because they need like pale plus pale or pale plus tough. And if they do on turn four, they have to have pale tough. Uh so the question here is do we want Katarina? Currently speaking, I would, but I don't know if I can afford to just level Katarina on three. Maybe it's better than not having it, but I think there's better cards. Alright. Sand looks decent. Eat that stairs. <laughs> yeah, eat that stairs kind of wrecked us. Okay, we roll a plus two weapon. <laughs> That'll do. Oh. Huh. That's pretty good. Because we have Sentry Flock next turn. We have leveled Katarina. Hmm. Because we're going to Sentry Flock Poppy. Hmm. It's not that good until we have Hillock. Uh, it'd be hard to play without, like, Fade Blade Twirler to a meaningful extent, so it's either Katarina Seconds... Second Hook Master. If I play it, I'm pretty forced to attack with it. I'll probably just go wide for now. We can play this later. Nice. 
Oh, you might not find that deck on that profile. I'm on a separate account right now. Oh, what if he has Rangers Resolve? Never has Rangers Resolve. Fuck. Oh, thank God. Oh my God, I was about to have a heart attack there. Jesus Christ. I saw the block and I was like, yo, it's over. <laughs> All right, Terry here is actually just a little bit of a problem because it doesn't die. Ideally, it's Poppy here because Poppy actually dies. Beautiful. And that's why you kept Sentry Flock. Oh, camp. Oh, yeah, you're totally right about that one. This is beautiful. Okay, we're head on board. Uh, we have Katarina. Or on the two cost Spider Sun? I do not. I don't think that card is that good. That card's just not good enough, I think. Oh, beautiful draw. Eric. God, if I had a second flock, he just loses on the spot, huh? We'll give this plus two so that it can trade into Tarek next turn. We have this swing first. Oh, wait, our board's gone. Um. Hmm. I kind of forgot we just end up with no board here. I don't have a problem because we don't actually have a palm. Like, if you like, uh. I do want to. Give something here so that Tarek is the least threatened. I guess I can Tempest Tarek and then that stops him from like rallying on Tarek. Like that's one way to like prevent that. Yes. Um. Fuck. That could be tough on attack. Yeah, that too. Mm, I need to hit a palm here. Okay, good enough. Okay, that that Sojourners is kind of soloing us. I don't know how I beat that Sojourner. I actually have no answer for this Sojourner. This is scary. Oh, it survived. Hey, my math sucks. Okay. Okay, so even if he rallies, we do have Tempest. We're going to try to bully our way through here. It's like the only way I can think of. Oh, Hillock is so insane against the rally. Okay, that might have just saved the game. Wu Ting style. I pass. Wu Tang. <laughs> no, I think it's uh. What does he say? I think it's Wu Ting. <laughs> Wu Tang is kind of funny though. I think it says Wu Ting style. Trade for the two two. Probably not. Because this trades for the Sojourner, at least, again, threatens the trade. He rallies, I can slam Hillock, and then I have Tempest, and that's really good. Okay. Rally on me? Oh, wait, if he rallies now, uh, hmm. If he rallies now, unless it's Aegis, I stun the Sojourner's not Taric. And if I let him attack and then I Tempest, he gets another attack anyways. I'm, uh, just not Barrier, just like Relentless. Damn. Um, okay, that's bad. I 
I should have saved two mana. Oh, that was that was silly. I can I can still stun this, and it it alleviates the majority of the threat. Tarek. Tarek doesn't give himself. Uh, can't die if he attacks again if I block here. This is actually kind of fine, cause like. If he wants to swing in with Tarek, I don't think he gets the can't die. And then I have Katarina with the Hillock. I can block. Wait, what? Wait, how'd that work? What? He supported. Oh, because he cast a spell. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, but like he's only dealing four damage to me. Like that's not that bad. Next turn we have Tempest into Katarina. So if you're not dying, we might just like win, actually. We might win next turn. Because like he's only dealing four damage here. Okay, wait, if I, he's dealing five damage. But I think we're fine. I actually think we're fine. Oh, I should have. Well, okay, that was interesting. He decided not to support, but I guess it made sense. So he like spell attacks, I Tempest, block, and then I Katarina stun again. And I should just win. This is such a weird train. Okay, probably can't just do that. Wait, what? Huh? Oh my god, wait, that's insane. Okay. Wait, I just win now. Uh, do I want to try to kill this? Because I can just open attack with this next turn. Alright, we can just take this slow, right? I don't think this will punish to like going any faster. We'll just save this to kill something that he plays after the Broadwing. Because next turn we just open attack here. We play Katarina. And then we like... Oh, okay, fair enough. Ooh, Hillock coming in to save the day. Hillock is so clutch against these rally decks. Because Hillock just like kind of just slaps them when they. I, I guess it works the same way as like Palm, but that Sojourn is really scary, but man, just like clinch that one up. You can like kind of just. Why do you surrender? There, there's still a chance. Uh, yeah. Okay, I want Sentry for Zed. This guy's playing an interesting deck. I wonder what it could be. Playing Jax Zed, huh? I assume he's playing like the Lure, like he plays like the Weapon Master Lure, or you know, the two mana Lure card, whatever it's called. I top deck flock here, and I flock and I sentry flock is dead. Not quite. If I had a flock here, I think I just win the game on the spot. Unless he has like a nope, a fire, whatever. Kind of unfortunate. Actual jacksack without timelines? Imagine. What the hell? My hand's kind of wacky. Oh. I really wonder what this deck is. Um, I don't, I don't know. He's only playing Ioni. He hasn't equipped. How does he like pump three? Like he needs to have like twin momentous and I have a second twin. He has nothing here. He just cries his hillock. It's so weird that he open attacks this turn with eight mana up. Like he hasn't equipped so he can't play the challenger card. He can't play momentous. 
He can, like, twin defensively, I guess, but then that gives me, like... That still gives me the stun with the Hillock. Like, what kind of buff does he have here that's, like, advantageous for him? I have Deny, I have no Popeye. Maybe, like, I don't know, Homecoming's me. That could be a possibility. Yes. He has, like, side attack with Zed. Fair enough. Bye, Zed. Ho ho ho. Okay, fair enough. I don't actually think I'm very happy with that because I can't play Hillock. Like, I think that benefited him in the end, which is not... doesn't make me feel very good. Like, I think that benefited him more than it benefited me, and that's always unfortunate. I should have played this first, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's actually a bad spot now. I kind of needed to kill that Zed. This is looking a little bit tight. I hate having to play this on defensive turns. It's just so bad. But... I don't know. I don't have much choice here. I can develop Yasuo. I get to have the stun. Okay. That's what I was afraid of. I don't know, like our hand was pretty duddy, if you want to look at it like that. Okay. Hmm. There's Link to... I, I can give you the list afterwards. Hang on a sec. No reason. It's not like he can rally on me. It's not like he has a strike spell and then this kills that. I'll probably have to hold deny just in case he randomly runs like homecoming. Which sucks because I do want to draw this turn. But I can't afford to like let Yasuo not... Let's try. So they don't. They don't. Good draw. I was saying that they can't have a strike spell. Jeez. I guess they could if they run it, right? No, it's not. It's not a strike spell, right? That's a darken card. Oh, interesting. I mean, I can fight you all day over these two, Bomi. Holy moly, I can fight for you guys all day, every day. It's a cultist card. The strike spell is a cultist card. I guess we... Maybe we win? This Jax is 4 out of 15. How do I, like, lose here? Like, I stun the impact card, I block these guys. He also flips, so whatever he strikes kills, too. This looks, like, really good. This looks mostly good. I have... Not gonna work on me, homie. I mean, it sort of worked on me. Um, it's kind of annoying. Oh. Okay. Dink. Donk. Oh, order. Um, dink. Donk. Blam. <laughs> That's so silly. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh. Hazaki! 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 <laughs> Hazaki! Uh. 
Hasagi. <laughs> Wait, he's dead. <laughs> he's at six health. <laughs> he's kind of at six health. <laughs> yeah, also with the quadra kill, yeah. Wait, why are you at six health, homie? Why are you dead? <laughs> Uh, that draws me two more Yasos for next turn. <laughs> if you somehow develop the board, I can just draw two more Yasos. <laughs> Anivia. I think everyone goes to that phase where they think that what Yaso does is just disgustingly OP. And it's like, I don't think it's like too far away from the truth. Like he's a very strong champion when you get him to work. But the times where you think he's strong is probably when it works, right? Like when you see Yasuo or when you think about him, it's probably when you got like actually just blown out of the water and like had no chance at all. Hmm. It's a good draw. Would you like to catalyst me, please? I'm gonna pass, he's gonna Catalyst, I'm gonna level Katarina. Not quite. Yeah, so plus Roar. That is an old school combo, my dude. That is old school. What are the odds he has Avalanche? I'm not gonna like randomly lose to Avalanche here. So many worst champions, I love Yasuo now. He came to the right place. He loved Yasuo in this, in this stream. Old school? Yeah. Old school. Would you like to vengeance my Yasuo, homie? If he vengeances my Yasuo, I think it's actually throwing. I'm well, not throwing, I just think it's like a really bad play. Well, it's not bad, I guess. I don't know, it's weird. I just think it, it, it's not good for them to do it, which is hilarious to me. That's fine. Now we gotta go Katarina Deny. Music's relaxing. It's a nice tune, isn't it? That's kind of annoying because now just Avalanche kind of clears this up, but it's kind of okay. This should be an almost guaranteed Katarina flip, so long as there isn't like a freeze. If there's a freeze and it's like a ravine, I think we do lose though. It's kind of tough to play around like a freeze plus ravine combo. Why does nobody play the 5 drop like Legion General? Vengeance? Oh, we have Deny. Oh, should I pass here? You mean like Legion General? It's just so slow. Wait, what? Okay, Pog. Like, Fate Blade Twirler is like, good enough. Why do I deny Vengeance? Because I need a, I need my Katarina to level. Like, Katarina is like, more important than anything in this game, or in this, in this deck. I'm, with level Katarina, I kill them well before we get there. Most of the time. I'm glad I didn't have to, of course, because then I can deny harrowings and ruinations later, but most of the time you can put on enough pressure to the point where if they do play that, they're like losing. So they play a Nivea, I play Landmark. Kinda sucks because we don't actually have like any board. Like if we had a Fade Blade Twirl on board, we'd just like win from this spot, but for now we're still kind of floundering around for a bit. What do I think of Hexbliterator? Like, would I play it in any deck? Maybe not. Oh, am I happy when I generate it and, like, it obliterates something? Yeah, I'd say so. Right. Now, if he vengeance my Yasuo, I'm a little bit more sad because I don't have a board. 
kind of good against Nivea. Not really. Because Nivea runs cards like Glimpse and uh, Gluttony. So it's kind of pointless. It actually benefits them a lot more if you do it. If you think about it. Like if you try to Hexbliterator Nivea and then that just gives them the opportunity to Glimpse, right? Or like Gluttony and then you just like lose because now you wasted your kind of card. What's better? Yasuo and Leon or Yasuo Malphite? Leon. 100%. No doubt in my head. Alright, let's just trade for this spider. The pig spell? Gluttony? Would I deny? Well, I have Nopify, which is nice. But I, yes, I would no fight Gluttony. I can probably just slam Katarina here. I do want my Yasuo level so he's at 3 health and not 2. Because right now he's dying to cards like Avalanche and that's kind of a no-no. Also great to lead an entire harrowing. Yeah. Those were kind of cute. And then back then you could actually just play slow target ducks. Like if he ruinates here he just loses. Because I can deny it. That's kind of annoying. I just palm to level Yasuo. I don't really care about Yasuo here anymore. Like, I don't want Yasuo to kill Anivia. I think that's fine. Now I can nopify anything that tries to kill Katarina. I do have a second Katarina in hand as well. I seem to develop a board here to actually push damage. Beautiful. Like if he has another avalanche, I'm really sad. But outside of exactly another avalanche, hmm, I probably have to deny an avalanche if he has it. But I can like nopify Vile Feast. Okay, I... I think it's too good to deny. Because like, even if he Valfies now, mm, I'm denying this healing and then I can still Blaze Edge the Spiderling. If this goes through, that's phenomenal. Alright. Now I can just go face. Face is the place. You think you can kill Nivea even after she levels? Well, at some point, I don't know if I need to kill Nivea ever. Like, I can always just stun her over and over again. I can probably avoid killing Nivea. Well, I'll try to as best as I can. It's not always going to work out, but I can try my best to. Cause like if he only has like say one Anivia, then like he's never killing me. Oh, is he gonna like Anivia harsh winds me now? That's actually kind of bad. Good thing I have another Katarina. Harsh winds actually sucks. Yeah, that sucks. That is threatening to kill my Katarina. Well, it's not killing my Katarina, I guess, but annoying. I wouldn't be surprised to see like him kill his own Anivia. And it's another wins. Kill the bird? No. The moment you kill the bird, you just enable his like rekindlers and harrowings. Like right now his harrowing just does nothing. If he wants to open attack, he's never winning the game. The issue is we know he has harsh winds, which means that my Katarina's kinda moot. 
Which also means that I'm just gonna sack my Katarine. No, I don't want to kill their bird. Oh, that's so awkward. I don't want to kill their bird, but I want Katarina to die. I can flock my Katarina. It's fine. I can actually, yeah, that's that's really good. I can just flock my Katarina. Okay, this is this is perfect. This is actually just perfect. Hmm. Like he's gonna like set up for harsh winds. We're gonna flock our Katarina and then we can rally again, which is fantastic. Actually, I might want to save this Katarina, so I probably should have put the pan first on it. Ah, whoa, okay. Play the landmark? I can probably play the landmark here if I wanted to. Not bad. I just kind of want to see what he does. Like, having the second landmark right now just doesn't matter. The only thing I need to, like, care about is, like, harsh winds. Which is still a problem. I guess I just play this now. There's no, like, punish. I still have Nopify for, like, Gluttony. And then it draws me a Yasuo, which I can play. His hand's, like, likely just, like, Ruinations and... I have to finally kill the bird. I need to get rid of the egg. Because right now, if Anivia is no longer on board, he can't, like, harsh winds me. Which is, like, kind of good. Oh, okay. That's got a little bit awkward. We still have our Katarina, so that's kind of like our whole... Oh, like, that's kind of like our trump card. Eight Blade Swirler is a really good draw. Alright, so we know he has a harsh wind. He's just dead here. I double stun, he harsh winds, and then I win. Because he's forced to like harsh winds me here, and then I just play Katarina and I win. I think on paper this matchup should be very good for us regardless, but we managed to like piecemeal our way through. Hmm. And now this matchup should be quite bad for us. Cause like once they have like a spell shield least in, we just like cry. Mm. Cause like a lot of times they don't have to develop, right? You get every single time. What are we talking about? <laughs> Sorry, did I miss something? I keep house spider. What do I think is the worst match against Yasuo? Pirates. Most assuredly. And then probably some hate spike deck as it kills Katarina very efficiently. The bug? Oh. No, yeah, I haven't I haven't gone very much recently. Okay, we can sentry flock auction, that's really good. No auction would be even better. Never mind. Of course. Okay, if you can kill Auction before he gets to the palace, that's like decent. I mean, Horde. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. 
Alright, bye, auction. There is one dead auction coming up. Want any chance like at least pressuring them? We need to find Katarina. There's really nothing else we can do. Like maybe we can like get him into developments with Windsub Hillock. But outside of that, it's gonna be quite wow for mana gem. I don't think that's correct. It's like the mana gem there is really big. That's so crazy that they're okay with that. And now, like, they're mana behind. We can pressure a lot. We can pressure really hard here. Like, he plays another unit, we palm it. And then we just push for 10. This isn't actually a lot in the grand scheme of things, but... Okay, well, I'd rather just kill the auction, I guess. He's probably flipping his auction, which sucks. I'm gonna bait him into the might. Doesn't take it. Alright, so he does flip here. It's annoying because he does get to the horde. And then spell shield decent the is very, very difficult to deal with. I'll probably have to save deny for a kick. That's like the only hope I have. Lee Sin is gonna be a big fat problem once we get there. When this time comes. Yasuo music. Actually, this spot's not that bad. This spot's pretty okay. Yasuo's leveled. Just kind of a big deal. Whoosh. You think you can use a Yasuo and make in Master Yi deck? Uh huh. I wanna say I don't think that necessarily makes a lot of sense. But it's funny though. The idea is funny. Okay. He's gonna have Horde next turn, and that's a big fat issue. Okay, but he does not have Lee Sin, which means he has to develop. So I have, like, Chance to Palm. Well, no, he just, like, plays two spells, gives Thingy, then plays Lee Sin. But then I can just stun Lee Sin. No, but then it gets kicked. Ugh. Okay, I Palm. He plays Lee Sin, I Palm. I do not. I fight for stack. Sorry, something fell off my desk. Give me one sec. Yeah, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Don't worry about it. God, if I had a twin discipline here, Leeson's dead. That sucked. Hmm. Oh no, Leeson's still dying because of the... Hillock. Oh, that's insane. We get to kill Lee Sin here. Oh my god, that's huge. That's actually so big. Wow, the Hillock killing Lee Sin here is like insanely huge. That's so, so good. Now I don't think he can give spell shot. I think he has to draw. Because Yasuo's not dying this turn. Yeah, he has to draw here. 
And if you can't get another... If you can't get another horde, we're like big chillin'. Okay. All of a sudden, decent slot for us. I should have played this here. Even though his cards cost one less, you can't like bounce my Yasuo this turn. Oh, my round star first. He loses Dragling. This is really good. Okay, this is fine. Because now he his, he loses his Dragling at round start. I'm gonna hold just in case he has Auction. Like if he has Auction, I get a Palm. But my round star happens first, so he doesn't get the Dragling here, which is nice. That's like really big. Katarina, pow. Good hit. Katarina, pow. Not quite. What's the punish developing here? Palm. I just want to make sure this connects. And then we can play around with palm flocks. Health pot. Yes. Still dead. Let's go. Mmm. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys for tuning in all the way to the end. If you guys enjoyed the game, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to try the deck yourself, I will leave the deck list down below in the description as usual. So feel free to take it for yourself and let me know how it goes. But with that, I'm going to call it a video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys, have a good one.